All right, and we are recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Christina, a.k.a. The Cherokee Gypsy, and you have discovered my channel. Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year. We are in 2018. Woohoo! If y'all want to know what I did for New Year's, I slept. That's what I did because I'm a hermit, and it is sub-zero temperatures outside. It's 20 degrees, but it's sub-zero for me. Um, I pretty much hibernate during the winter. Um, I really do not like to be outside at all. Um, so, today's going to be a long video, but I promise it's worth y'all's while. Um, I'm actually going to do a My Favorites, My Favorite Products for 2017. Um... I'm actually excited to show y'all a lot of the things. I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to show y'all. So, for one, let me first plug up my laptop because it's going to die once again. Where is my laptop cord? This gets so annoying. Every time that I try to do a video, my laptop is about to die. So... We're going to plug it up, make sure we got plenty of battery, and we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope everybody's had a good New Year's um, and Christmas, which y'all know I did do a, um, a Christmas haul. So, I've seen a lot of comments, and I'm actually still replying to those comments. I've been so busy during the holidays, which, you know, I work too, so... Anyways, like I said, Happy New Year, everybody, and since we're going to go out with a bang on my channel with uh, all my favorites for 2017, so let's go ahead and get started. First, want to give a shout out to Miss Cherie and Gigi. I'm wearing the necklace y'all sent me, and I love it so much. Do y'all like my fox fur headband? So, check this out. Got it from Walmart. Five bucks. Thought it was really stinking cute. Looks like something I would wear to the fullest. My grandmother says, what you got on your head? <laughs> Grandma, you got to understand I love fox fur, okay? I love fox fur. By the way, look at this purse Michael got me, y'all. Y'all know I am a Big Buddha lover. Big Buddha is actually a brand out of L.A., and they actually have a store there, um, but Walmart actually carries Big Buddha um, products and purses, which that's like my fourth Big Buddha purse. I thought I had five, but I don't. So, first, before I get to before I get started with showing y'all uh, my favorite products for 2017, I went to Sephora day before yesterday. Shout out to my Sephora girls. Hello, Miss Kayla. And Rachel. Hello, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel is a new subscriber, and she works at Sephora now, and she is a new subscriber to my channel, so welcome, Rachel. By the way, y'all, we're almost to a thousand subscribers. Yay! When we get there, I'm going to buy a high-end eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to give it away to someone special, so make sure you share this to your friends and family, because once we get to a thousand, I'm going to have an awesome giveaway. Okay, so... I went to Sephora day before yesterday, and I have saved this in the bag and everything just so I could show y'all what I got. So, first of all, let's just show y'all. I am now officially VIB Rouge. Okay, so Sephora... Sephora has three different tiers. Um, you, when you first start purchasing from Sephora, you can, you are a beauty insider. Second, you become a VIB, and then third, when you spend uh, one thousand dollars in a calendar year, you get a special little card, VIB Rouge, and on top of that, you get a little bag that says VIB Rouge on it. And check this out. So in this bag. This is so cool. I was not expecting this. In this bag, you get a little card that says VIB Rouge 2017. It says it's going to be a beautiful year with our thanks, Sephora Beauty Insider. And this is it, which I'm actually a VIB Rouge for 2018. It's good till December 2018. So, yay! So, in that bag, we have a VIB Rouge, and you actually got a brush. Sorry, y'all, that was the heater turning on. 
you actually got a brush for being VIB Rouge and I thought this was really cool it says enjoy this best seller from the Sephora collection and in whoops and inside this is so cool it says VIB Rouge on the brush and this is their pro mini flawless airbrush brush and if you know y'all know i'm a makeup brush junkie and actually i have some brushes that i'm going to show y'all in my favorites so yeah i got a sephora mini pro flawless uh vib rouge makeup brush it's super soft Love the bristles, and it's a mini. Super cute. So, VIB Rouge, you get a brush, which I thought was really cool. So, I had to spend $6 to, be, um, to become Rouge. It's so funny. But I'm still accumulating my points because, like, I want something good. I don't want to trade in my points and get something crappy. So, now I'm VIB Rouge at Sephora. And I am Platinum at Ulta, which at Ulta, you got to spend $500 in a calendar year, and you are Platinum. So, I'm at the high status at both places. So, I really thought that little um, VIB Rouge bag with the makeup brush was super cute. And now, I'm a proud member of VIB Rouge, so that gets to go in my wallet. So, inside... <sighs> I actually have, I got this a couple of weeks ago. I just wanted to show y'all this. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. Y'all know that the Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana Rose and Nirvana Amethyst are two of my signature scents. Well, I have the roller balls for the Nirvana Rose and the Amethyst, and I also have the bottles of perfume. I don't have the bottle of perfume for the Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana Bourbon, but I do have the roller ball. I got this a couple of weeks ago when I was at a, a different Sephora, not the Sephora that I go to regularly. But this bourbon, oh my gosh, it smells so good. The I'm just a Nirvana Elizabeth and James Nirvana junkie. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. You know, my woodsy, smoky self. So, the notes in this is oak wood, vanilla bourbon, and tuberose, which I love tuberose and oak wood, cedar, you know, all those different smells. So, yep, got that. But that was a couple of weeks ago. Now, these are the two things that I got at Sephora. So, if you know me, you know I am a bum bum cream fanatic, okay? Which, actually, uh, my Bum Bum Cream is in my favorites. It's going to be in my video, which I'm going to show this with it. So, this is part of that collection. This is the Brazilian Crush. Uh, this is the Bum Bum Cream Body Fragrance. Yes. I have wanted this body fragrance for so long, but you got to order it online, and I'm just not an order online girl. I like to go in the store. I like to get it then. This is the smaller bottle of the Brazilian Bum Bum uh, Fragrance Crush, which it's called Brazilian Crush, but it's got the Sol Janeiro on the top. And um, it smells just like the Bum Bum Cream, if you know what the Bum Bum Cream smells like. It is, it is out of this world. The pistachio, oh my gosh, it's to die for. So now I have my Bum Bum Cream and I have the body fragrance. And on top of that, I've got the, uh, the Bum Bum Butter, uh, Lip Balm Butter. So I've got all three part of that collection. Y'all, it smells so good. This is the uh, little one, which the big one is $30, $30, but this one's $19, and it smells just like the Bum Bum Cream. So I got this at Sephora. Shout out to Kayla for pulling it out for me. I love you so much. There was only one left. They were sold out of all of them. They finally carry it. They were sold out of all of them, and this was the last one, and I got it. So, yay! I'm so happy to have that. Next, um, Sephora has actually come out with new lipsticks. The Sephora brand has come out with new lipsticks, and they're called Lip Stories, hashtag Lip Stories. Um, and on the lipstick, it has diff like different cities on the lipstick and these are only eight dollars y'all and i actually got the shade uh la, la, it's made in italy um and i got the shade labyrinth city which is shade number nine it's got a matte 
finish um, lip stores, which that's what's on my lips. It's like a deep mauve color. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Here, I'll swatch it for y'all. It's very creamy, very buttery, and um, it actually dries down to like a stain. Like it, like... Like, it's pretty much dried down on my uh, lips now, and I really love it, and now that I, and it's got, like, the picture of Labyrinth City on the lipstick, which I thought was really cool. They've got a lot of different colors, so I'm really interested in these little lipsticks, and next time that I go back to Sephora, I'm going to be buying more shades of these, because I really do like the finish and how it it's matte, but yet it's creamy and comfortable. So, I got that too, and I highly recommend them. They're called Lip Stories. So, when you go in Sephora, ask them about their new lipsticks called Lip Stories. Okay, so that's what I got at Sephora, which made me a VIB Rouge. Now, let's go to my products, my favorite products for 2017. All right, so first... um. I'm not going to show each and every one of you these product, each and every one of these products, just because I'm going to do a separate video on these. But this basket right here is actually all Pixie products. The Pixie skincare, y'all know. Well, my Tatcha uh, water cream is in there. If you've never tried the Tatcha water cream, it's actually quite nice. Um, especially if you have oily skin. And on top of it, it's got the little thing that slides out to keep the inside of your jar sanitary. Um, it's got the refreshing anti-aging pore perfecting Japanese wild rose for normal to oily skin. And I've used a good den of this up. Look at that. Yeah. So I use this um, all the time with my Pixie products. You know, I have to be really uh, careful with what I put on my face. Next, another one of my favorite products for 2017 is the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer for Sensitive Skin. Y'all, I got a mini of this in my Sephora Play uh, subscription when I had Sephora Play. And I had to have the full size of this. You can use this as a primer or a moisturizer and it smells divine. It's also great for sensitive skin. So if you have not tried this uh, First Aid Beauty Just Fab Coconut Smoothie Primer Moisturizer, it, it has kind of like a glowy tint in it, but you can wear it underneath your makeup or you can wear it alone. I love this stuff. And when I run out, I will be getting more. Another one of my Holy Grail products, which I'm getting low on it, is the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is, it has 5% glycolic acid. And let me tell you this. This stuff right here is so good for my skin. The glycolic acid actually sheds old skin so new skin can produce. Like with my, you know, um, I got a zit here on my chin. Sorry about that. But it actually sheds old skin, the glycolic acid does, so new skin can uh, form on your face. So it really helps with my closed comedones. Um, I love that glow tonic, and I actually use, this is my second jar. I showed this in my empties video. This is their uh, Pixies Glow Tonic to Go pads. Love these. They're like little pads with the glow tonic in it. Um, I Oh, I love using this too. This is their Glow Peel Pads. These are different from the Glow Tonic Pads. But these have 20% um, glycolic acid with uh, rose water. And they're advanced exfoliating treatment. And it's like a mask, but you wipe it on your face and then like leave it on for about three minutes. And then you use cold water um, to neutralize uh, the the treatment on your face and it really does help use it at night so i love those two um another cleanser that i love but well pixie's uh glow mud cleanser oh my gosh there's like freaking the lighting is like i'm trying to like show y'all pixie's uh glow mud cleanser it's got five percent glycolic acid in this i love this cleanser it's good for my oily acne prone skin 
Um, I move it up so y'all can see it. There we go. It's good for my oily, acne-prone skin. Um, I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm actually going to do a different video with Pixie products. It's going to be a totally different video um, because I love and I Pixie does not get enough credit. And I feel like if I, while my channel grows, which it's taken a while to get to where I'm at. I mean, it's took a long time. Let, let's be real here. Um, but I feel like when my channel does get discovered, people really enjoy it. And I feel like if I can speak about Pixie enough, I can help so many women across who have difficult problems with their skin. So, um, more products that I am wholly by is their Rose uh, Pixie's Rose Caviar Essence. It's got real uh, rose bits in it. Love this. This is actually my second bottle on that. Um, I love their Glow Mud Mask, Mixie, uh, Mixie's, Pixie's Glow Mud Mask. It's got 5% glycolic acid. I've actually got a mini bottle of the Glow Tonic because I'm almost out of the big bottle and the Target near me, does. It's, there's like they're sold out all the time. Everybody goes and buys the Glow Tonic, so I'm going to have to order it online. But I did hear if you ordered the Glow Tonic online that they actually engrave your name on the bottle. So Michael said that he was going to leave some money on his car next week and he was going to get me one because they're going to like engrave my name on the bottle. I'm obsessed with this product by Pixie. This is their Rose Flash Bra rose flash bomb um it is a moisturizer primer and mask you can use it at the a.m and p.m smells like roses love it so much obsessed next this is the pixie skin treats peel and polish it's like an exfoliating treatment that you can use in the morning or night smells so good it's a radiance revealing enzyme peel love this stuff right here um, this is their Beauty Sleep Cream, Pixie's Beauty Sleep Cream that I use at night to put on my face. Love it. This is their H Pixie's H2O Skin Drink. Love that. It's a good moisturizer. Me and Michael both use this, the Pixie 24K Eye Elixir. It actually has collagen in it and it helps with fine lines and crow's feet. This is their Rose Oil Blend that I love so much. You can drop it, use it with your moisturizer. You can pat it. I always pat my products into my face. Love that. It smells like roses. I'm obsessed with roses. And this is their Overnight Glow Serum, which this you put on your skin after you cleansed and toned it. And it actually gently exfoliates to reveal a healthier and more even skin tone love this stuff so I'm actually gonna do a whole different uh, segment on pixie I'm actually gonna do a video um, specifically for my pixie products and show y'all what order I use the products in because pixie does not get enough credit all right next let's see so I have been using I got this for Christmas this is the Clinique sonic uh, face cleansing brush y'all hear that this brush is amazing. I love it. Now, your skin does go through the purging uh, process, which that's what mine's going through right now. But I got my little carrying case that I keep it in. So, when I go across the yard to take a shower, look at that. And it's got in my little case, and it's got little tassels on it. So, my grandmother got me this uh, facial cleansing brush, which it is a great dupe for the Clarisonic. Love this brush. And uh, it's really been helping me out, like I said. Um, I've, I've only been using that for like a week now because, you know, I got it for Christmas. Next, it's, it's a lot of face stuff, but the only stuff I can use on my face has to be organic and natural. It has to be, otherwise my face breaks out like crazy. Next is the three-step system. This is by the Sunday Riley. Um, this is their Space Race Fight Acne Oil and Pores. Uh, kit right here. So first you have the mattifying uh, Martian face toner and uh, it's for oily to acne prone skin, which is me. You use this after you cleanse and it all this has weird smells to it but that's because it's herbal and natural um sunday riley use really good products they're expensive their products are expensive but i feel like they work you know 
Um, next, I've already had a bottle of this before, but I wanted to get another bottle. This is their UFO uh, treatment oil. Um, it's their ultra clarifying face oil for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads. This 1.5 salicylic acid medicated dry oil clears congested pores, which I feel like if I use it daily, it really does help with the comedones. And then next, the whole reason why I bought this kit again, this Saturn Sulfur mask right here. This is their Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. Medicated mask dries and clears up acne while preventing new blemishes from forming. It's got 10% sulfur in it. It stinks, but I swear, you know how I feel about masks. They're real gimmicky, and I feel like masks don't really do nothing for you. Um, there's only two masks that I feel do anything for my face, and that's the Purity pore extractor and that sunday riley uh sulfur mask those paper masks and all that they don't do nothing okay they're gimmicky to me in my opinion but everybody's got a different opinion next i'll just go ahead and show you all the other two products by sunday riley that i love and um this is their infamous good jeans by sunday riley this is their all-in-one lactic acid treatment it brightens exfoliates plump lines reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation and instantly boosts radiance this is about a hundred dollars for a big bottle and this is what i use at night um this is their infamous luna oil the sunday riley luna oil it's their sleeping night oil next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and redness love their luna oil love it so much so like i said i use my pixie and my sunday riley products which i have been using my uh clinique products to go with my cleansing brush and i have to be real careful with clinique products because they do break my face out so i have to be careful all right next um we have i love this this is the milani uh keep it sweet sugar lip scrub which i need to do that today um as y'all can tell i've put a dent in this too and um i'm collecting empties for my second empties video smells good it's by milani you can get this in the drugstore i highly recommend it it's a sugar lip scrub next let me show y'all some of my favorite fragrances that which y'all know i'm a fragrance junkie to the fullest um so these are just some of the ones that are my signature fragrances that i use constantly so i got my bottles right here so which one should i show first these are just fragrances that i use constantly first i'll just show my uh, ysl black opium i've had this black opium for how long babe two years now i've actually had this big bottle of ysl black opium for two years now and look how much i've got left still um, I feel like I have to have another bottle because it will always be a signature fragrance of mine. This black opium is killer. The vanilla and the coffee bean together, it is one of the most intoxicating smells I've ever smelled. Michael's obsessed. He loves it. It is probably one of my favorite. It'll always be um, in my signature collections, the YSL black opium. It'll always be one of my signature fragrances. I know a lot of people wear it, but I cannot help it. I genuinely love that scent. That coffee bean with that vanilla is killer out of this world. Next is my Calvin Klein Euphoria. I know, Kat, you mentioned that you love that you've worn Calvin Klein Euphoria for years. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I actually want a big bottle. The patchouli. And this Calvin Klein Euphoria, um, it will always be another one of my favorite signature scents. Calvin Klein Euphoria. If you like, if you don't like those sweet girly smells, you will definitely enjoy the Calvin Klein Euphoria. Next is my Elixir Oil by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is her uh, stash up elixir oil this is not the perfume but this is the elixir oil that it's like an oil a body oil you can put it in your hair on your skin and it's very woodsy um if you don't like the woodsy leathery mysterious smell you will not like this i absolutely love the stash up scent 
So I got the elixir oil. My two main signature fragrances right here. These are the Elizabeth and James. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose that I've worn ever since I discovered this. This is my top number one signature scent. I wear this more than anything. This is my second uh, one ounce bottle that I've been through on the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. There is not a scent like it. Um, and I think they've discontinued this because I was looking in Sephora and I didn't see any more. So good thing my hubby got me the big bottle of the Nirvana Rose because of the simple fat matter. I think they're discontinuing the Nirvana Rose and I have no freaking clue why because I'm obsessed. Next is the uh, Nirvana Amethyst by Elizabeth and James. This is one of their newer fragrances and... If you've never smelled the Nirvana Rose or the Nirvana Amethyst, I'm telling y'all, it. two of my signature fragrances, and now this is a new signature fragrance of mine, and I've already used quite a bit of it because I'm obsessed. This is by Mugler, and this is called Alien. This stuff right here, oh my god, it is to die for. It had amber is one of the main notes in it. And you can actually see where it says alien on the back. The only thing, the cool thing about this is that this is not a refill bottle. This is a smaller bottle. But you can go to Ulta, buy the big bottle. And then when you run out, you can go. They have a refill station. Not at the Ulta down the street, but the Ulta in Murfreesboro in Tennessee. They actually have a refill bottle station where you can refill your alien bottle. So I think that's really dope. And this has become a new signature fragrance of mine too, the alien. So next, oh, I got two more fragrances. Nope, three. Now, one of these I do not spray on me and wear it daily. It's more of a, I spray my bed and spray the air with it. And uh, that's by uh, Pink, Victoria's Secrets Pink. This is called their Midnight Sage, which it's very, it's very sagey. Like I said, I don't wear this as a perfume, but more as, mm, if you like the smell of sage, if you're like witchy, kind of like me, then you will enjoy this. This is 20 bucks at Victoria's Secret. Um, it's very, I feel like it's more masculine masculine than it is feminine. Um, and I like smoky, mysterious, and woodsy, but I'm not a big masculine. Like, I don't want to smell masculine. So, I actually sprayed this Midnight Sage on my bed and stuff. It does smell wonderful. But yeah, if you're interested, you need to smell the Pink's Midnight Sage. Next was another one, an oldie but a goodie. This is the Juicy Couture, uh, Couture, Juicy Couture. I love this stuff. Um, it is amazing. It's a very sexy, mature, grown-up scent. It has patchouli in it, which y'all know I'm a patchouli junkie. And this is their original Couture scent. Um, I rotate that in my fragrances, too. And then Michael really loves this one. This is the uh, Miss Dior. Um, this is their Silky Body Mist. This isn't the perfume, but it's their body mist. And it's a glass bottle. And it's, like, so luxurious. Like, look at the top. It's glass. And I've sprayed a lot of this. Like, I, and I still have that much left. Like, it's, it really amazes me. But, most definitely, I love this. Oh, their Flower Bouquet by Miss Dior. Oh, it smells so good. So, those are my fragrances. Oh, oh, oh. Next, I'll go ahead and show y'all um, my body butters that I like to use. So, first, I told y'all that I had the uh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. You know, that those are my signature. Well, this is the Brazilian Kiss. This is their uh, Copa Chu Lip Butter that goes with the Brazilian Crush. And here it is, my uh, original Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So, this is my second huge jar of the Bum Bum Cream that I'm that I'm halfway through with already again. This is my signature body butter. Now I have the body fragrance to go with it and I have the lip butter. So the only thing that I'm missing is the body wash. 
So these will, this is always my favorite. This has been my favorite the whole 2017. And now I finally got my hands on the Brazilian Crush Fragrance Mist. And I have the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. So they all go together. And another scent, the other scent that they have, this is a little mini one, but this is the Akai Body Power Cream by Sol Janeiro 2. And this is a Kai Berry, which I've almost, it's almost about to go in the empties, y'all. Look how much I've used. Which I would actually pay the $50 for the big jar of the Akai. I just prefer the Bum Bum Cream scent better. But I do like the Akai too. Next, I got this from Ulta. Y'all know I'm obsessed with roses. We're already at 30 minutes. I'm doing pretty good, though. So, this is from The Body Shop, and this is their British Rose scent from Ulta by The Body Shop. I put a dent in this, too. I love this body butter. Love it. It doesn't smell artificial. Like, it smells like genuine roses. I love this body butter. Love it, love it so much. And I actually have the body wash, uh, the British Rose body wash to go with it. So, when I take a shower, I like to switch up, like I said. I use both of these together so I can smell like a lovely rose. Woo! Next, I'm saving my makeup brushes and my makeup for last. Next, um, I actually got this stuff from Bath & Body Works, and like I told y'all, I don't really shop at Bath & Body Works. Um, I feel like their, their scents are a little bit too um, mainstream and a bit too girly for me, but they have an essential oils line at Bath & Body Works, and I've been, I, I'm obsessed, and I use these all the time. So, the first one is the Aromatherapy Comfort. This is their vanilla and patchouli, and it's in a glass bottle. The fast-absorbing body lotion conditions skin with ultra-nourishing shea butter and antioxidant-rich vitamin E. It's got vanilla absolute and patchouli oil in it. Y'all know I'm obsessed with patchouli. This right here, love it, love it, love it. The uh, vanilla and patchouli is hard to find, so when you go on Bath & Body Works, you, you're going to be searching. Next, I got the whole dang uh, thing of this. This is the, um, let me show y'all these two first. This is the Bath & Body Works Essential Oils line, and this is their lavender and sandalwood scent, which they have different ones. I got my grandma the vanilla and almond one part of this collection, but this is their lavender and sandalwood one, which I'm obsessed with lavender and sandalwood. It smells so good together. This is the olive oil body cream and this is the body wash with olive oil i've almost went through a half a bottle of this so this will be in my empty soon and to go with that i actually have the lavender and sandalwood fine fragrance mist and i've used a quite a bit good bit of the lavender and sandalwood body oil so when i get out of the shower before i put the body cream on i actually use this body oil to uh, make my skin softer. So I can use all four of these. Body wash, fine fragrance mist, the body oil, and the body cream. So the only thing I'm missing from the lavender and sandalwood line is, I think it's a body balm and a body scrub. But other than that, I got the whole, uh, the whole system going on there because I wanted it. Like, I freaking wanted it. Y'all know I'm not real big on hair hair products so um y'all know i use my chi air which is my purple hair straightener love it so much i usually use that um but here are some of the products that i've been loving for 2017 this is the cara botanica slay and play refreshing hair scent cara botanica was nice enough to send me this uh, hair fragrance mist complimentary. Um, I'm trying to be in a, an affiliate with them, but um, I'm not sure. There was papers in the mail that come with it I was supposed to fill out, but I didn't get the papers. And um, I don't, I didn't have a computer at the time. I think the guy from Cara Botanicals or the chick sent me the papers like through an email attachment, but I wasn't sure how to do that. So I haven't been able to get back with them. But that Cara Botanica 
Hair Mist is awesome. Um, I'm trying to work with Arvin Cosmetics right now to be an affiliate with them, so maybe that'll work out. Um, another thing is the Bio Silk Silk Therapy. I use this every time that I go to straighten my hair. Um, this is the Chi 44 Iron Guard iron guard that I use when I spray and I'm straightening my hair and this is the bedhead by TG this is their after party smoothing cream for silky shiny healthy looking hair love this smells so good you can actually get it at the drugstore it's a little pricey but it's still good all right now to the makeup brushes and then I'll show you all the makeup some of my makeup brushes favorites for 2017 all right, we're going to go through these quickly. First is my Royal and Lane Nickel Powder Brush, a BMD 100. Love this brush. Some of these are dirty because I have to wash them. It's huge, it's big, it's purple, it's beautiful. Next is the Royal and Lane Nickel Fan Brush. This is the BMD 300. Love this fan brush. I use it for my highlight. That's part of a collection. Uh, the powder brush... The powder brush and the fan brush are actually part of the same Royal and Langnickel um, collection, but I don't have any more of the purple ones. Next, my favorite blending brush for eyeshadow, it's dirty right now, of course, is by Glamour Dolls. I actually got this blending brush in my Ipsy bag, and this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow blending brushes. Like, I absolutely love it. Oh, look, there's still a little bit of color. Like, it blends eyeshadow like a dream, y'all. Like, seriously. And it's by Glamour Dolls. Like, I want more brushes by Glamour Dolls. Like, I love this brush. This blending brush. It is amazing. Oh, my gosh. What was that noise? Next is a... I love Luxie brushes, but I only have two Luxie brushes. This is my first Luxie brush. Uh, this is the Luxie 640... Pro Precision Pro Precision Tapered Brush. So it looks like that. I got it in my Boxy Charm when I was still getting Boxy Charm. Bless it, I miss Boxy Charm so bad. But that's their Precision Tapered Brush. It's pink. Love that brush. Next, oh my gosh, this is like, I have not even used this brush because I love this brush so much. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Professional Powder Brush. It is huge. Like Kathleen Light, she like swears by this brush. I actually seen her talking about it and her recommending it. So I went and bought it at Target. You can actually get these e.l.f. Uh, professional brushes at Target. But look how big that powder brush is at the tip. Love this brush. Haven't even used it, but I love it. That's all I know. Next is a It Brushes from Ulta. I love this. This is their Oh My Gosh foundation brush. I actually used my It Cosmetics cream to apply this. This is another brush by um, It Brushes for Ulta. This is their, um, what's it called? Their Airbrush Complexion Perfection brush. Love this brush. Got it for half off. And then my Sonia Kashuk uh, Stippling brush. I love this brush. This is what I use bronzer for. So, yeah, those are some of my favorite brushes. Um, if y'all want to see a brush collection, let me know, by the way. All right. Um, I'm not going to go, like, through everything because this is a long video. But some of my favorite palettes eyeshadow palettes for 2017 we're already at 40 minutes um is the anastasia beverly hills prism palette love this palette um the anastasia beverly hills nicole guerrero highlighting palette that was a limited edition one um the fenty beauty galaxy palette this i don't care what nobody says i freaking love this palette and the urban decay naked heat palette these are some of my favorite palettes for 2017. The Naked Heat palette, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. Um, I love all four of those palettes. And out of all my, I got a huge collection of eyeshadow palettes. And those four palettes were my favorites. Alright, so a little bit of my makeup. Oh, forgot about this. My Luxie, this is probably my favorite Luxie brush. This is the Luxie Dreamcatcher Precision Foundation Brush. I got this in my Ipsy bag at one point and I was obsessed 
with that brush too. Alright, let me show y'all the makeup. Run through the makeup real quick. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. I'm so sorry everybody. Alright, first is my infamous Marc Jacobs uh, Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. Love this stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is my second bottle because my first bottle uh, got messed up and the nozzle got messed up. Smells good. People say it leaves a white cast. It don't leave a white cast on my face. I'm just saying. Another favorite is my It Cosmetics CC Illuminating CC Cream. I live by this stuff. Love it so much. Um, next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I love this stuff. It's like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I have that too. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light. Love that stuff too. Um, I got this lip liner um, by Lord & Berry. This is their nude lip liner that I got in my Ipsy bag. Love this. Goes with every color uh, lipstick I have because I'm a nude lover. Got this in my BoxyCharm. This is the Brow Gal. And it comes with the brush to go with it. It's got the spoolie on one end and the other where I actually fill in my brows with it. Love this, the Brow Gal. And it's got a mirror. Love that. Next is by Arvin Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with this bronzer, y'all. Like, this is, this is like my go-to bronzer right now. Even though I have the, there's three different bronzers I was showing y'all. Whoops. I was going to grab my Lancome Grandiose Nor Mascara, but um, I'd say my Too Faced Better Than Sex will always be my Holy Grail Mascara. I love it so much. Um, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is another one of my favorites, but that Arben Bronzer, that's the one I've been using. And, oh my gosh, the Jovinci. This is their natural bronzer that I actually won from Maya's uh, first giveaway. I, it comes with a huge mirror, and it is absolutely beautiful. My first giveaway I ever won, I won this Givenchy bronzer, and I am obsessed with this bronzer. It's beautiful, and it's got the little flowers on it. $70 bronzer, expensive. That's why I take really good care of it. So, I showed y'all that, and... Last but not least, this is my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation in the shade 6. This is their long wear high cover foundation. Influencer sent me two different shades, shade 5 and shade 6. Complimentary in exchange for my review and shade 6 is perfect for me. Um, that is everything for my my favorites for 2017. I know this is long and I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please comment below and let me know if you, uh, if any of these products are your favorites. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. When we get there, I'm going to do a giveaway. I love y'all so much and thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.